Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Sly Slime, and last time we finally made some headway with this diesel generator. It is uh, now possible to run it all the time, except yeah, we're running out of fuel for it now instead. So we gotta we gotta increase our production of things. Uh, apparently, we're running low both on seeds and potatoes. So potentially, we need to make more of these clocks. Uh, there's one that is making potatoes and five that is making seeds. Could harvest some of this stuff just to keep it going now, but I think we should focus on making it more, uh, well, making it work more automatically. I'm also thinking about switching the seed type because, uh, let's, let me show you here, um, plant oil is the thing that we're using. So plant oil is from Squeezer from seeds, beetroot seeds, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, or industrial hemp seeds. These, I don't know if they're any better, really, but the other ones, out of them... Squeezer... Oh, these are just from the bottles. Right. So, out of these, beetroot seeds... Well, we can get them from the market, from the sawmill... Phytogenic insulator. Nothing here is that much more interesting. I guess we could make one of these, but whatever. Um, the thing that strikes me here is that the pumpkin seeds, there's a harvest craft version of those, of the pumpkins. And I don't quite know. You make them like this, I guess you plant that then or something. It's odd. But they're the same seeds, so maybe. It would be worthwhile to try planting them in here, in a clock, you see. So maybe we'll take one of these clocks. Let's take the, the one at the end. And, uh... Why is the wheat not going out of here? Oh, is that thing full? Ouch. I keep ruining my crops lately. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is full. Okay. <laughs> right, we, we need to do something with the wheat. Um... But we can upgrade this uh, drawer for now, but yeah, we need to do something with the wheat. But, right now what I want to do is I want to take these seeds out, take these wheat out, and uh, what I did was I went and uh, sold a bit of barley in the marketplace and bought some of these seeds. So we have pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, and beetroot seeds in here. And I want to try just throwing them in here and seeing what if, if that even works. So if we put the pumpkin seeds in, does that, like, actually grow pumpkins? Because, like, ooh, that looks very fancy. Let, let's walk around here, this interesting path we have among all our machines to actually get up here and see what it's doing. So it's creating pumpkins. <laughs> That's such a weird animation. Okay, but we are getting pumpkins. Now, what can we do with these? So we can craft them into pumpkin seeds. Aha. Uh -huh. I think actually that's a lot better. Because we kind of, what we need is pumpkin seeds. And these are making both wheat and seeds. Whereas these are just making pumpkins and we can turn them into tons of seeds. So I think we'll try this. Let's try switching them all over. See what happens. Other than my inventory getting filled up with wheat, that is. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do then is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to remove this. Uh, and that. And we're going to switch this one to be a potato making one, because we are also running out of potatoes. Um, this, this place is horrible now. But now we're making potatoes here and here. And that should... let's see, okay, yes. So we have to take the output from here, which is very annoying. Which means I'll have to put these back. Uh, but they'll need to go... like this way, I guess. Oh, and then I don't have enough. Uh, hopefully I have more. <laughs> I, I did have more item duct, so I went and got some. Uh, we have to do that. Somebody told me these push, so I don't need the servos. 
And that's why we had a weird thing. Yeah, so they disappeared. So all of these servers are unnecessary. Whoopsie. Why is this fermenter so low on power? Okay. Uh, I need to find my drawer key so we can switch this drawer over to be... Well, hmm. Okay, no, wait. That's not gonna... I have to figure out how to auto-craft those into seeds. Yes. That's the thing now. That should be doable, but, uh, hmm, that's, that's, yes, uh, sleep. Okay, so I'm looking at crafting. We got a couple of different options here. One would be the mechanical crafter. This is kind of a, this is pr pretty easy recipe, actually. Maybe we'll do that first. This one, uh, basically contains an advanced machine frame. That's the only reason this is difficult or expensive, because these advanced alloy things are pretty expensive. And annoying to make on the top of that. So I think maybe we'll uh, cast a bunch of gears here. Uh, a couple of bronze, bronze gears. That's the only difficult part of that recipe. And we'll try making that mechanical one first. I'm a little worried about what power it will need. But uh, it's cheap enough that it's worth a try. So I'll make up the recipe and then we'll continue from there. All right, so... All of the components gotten. Let's make a mechanical crafter. I guess we'll go down there and place it approximately where we kind of want it. And let's see. Probably we'll want whoop, we'll want stuff to end up in here. And then hmm. Ooh, it says grid power zero out of zero. Yeah, I was worried that this would require grid power. Um. But yeah, what we want, take a pumpkin, pumpkin into seeds, cool. Input, does it not require any power or anything? Look at that. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I had not expected that, okay. Um, keep ancillary, no, always on, yeah, okay, so we don't, we don't care about redstone signals controlling this or anything. Huh. So in that case, what I want is... Yeah, let's... We, we need to... I guess we can just destroy this to reset it. Probably. We'll do that. Yeah, this now gets these. That's perfect. We'll need to lock it. Uh, we're gonna take this and move it away because we no longer need it. And... Uh, We'll make a new one and put, uh, yeah, put the seeds in that one. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so we have 90 pumpkins in here now, this is good. I'm gonna lock it, that's the first thing we're gonna do. And then... How does this... this just goes in... Ah! This just goes in there. So... Uh... This doesn't need to be here, actually. Let's grab that. And see. So it could just output it directly into there. I kind of want a chest uh, or drawer in between, though. So if I do this, do I get it in the right direction? No, I didn't. Annoying. Whoa. Oh, major lag spike. Okay, so I'm gonna. We're just gonna put up some pipes here for now. There, so I can get that in the right direction. Ooh, can I turn this? Can you turn it with this? That would be really nice. Oh, I could just have done that too then. Okay, so anyway, um, grab one of these, turn it into seeds, put the seeds in here, lock it, and then, let's see, so we have this here, that's gonna output into here, but now we need this in between, so we're basically just gonna... This is what I wanted. We're gonna pull out here, push into here, just have this right in between down here. And again, take one of these. Uh, not there. There. Like that. And then a bunch of servos, and we're done. Well, with a bunch, I mean three, I guess. And I only have two, so oops. 
Aha, here I am with three servos. So let's just um, ignored. Let's just start putting stuff into here. Please. Oh yeah, there we go. Stuff's going in here, stuff's going out there. So then we take them out of there, doing the same thing. It's a little hard to tell. I guess we can do this. There's just four in there. Twelve. Twenty. Nice. And now, final step. That should put them in here. This should start working and producing oil again. Which we desperately need now. Oh yeah, look at that. It used up all the power instantly. Whoops. Uh, cause this... Yeah. This has a bunch of potatoes, but can't work. Like, nothing has power now. <laughs> uh, oops, I guess. So, the question is, why is nothing getting power? Because I still have my other power generation. Ooh. This is connected through. This only gets power from... Oh, I see. Right, because I tried this experiment last time. I'm going to remove these. We'll connect stuff up back the way it was. Right, and now this is actually doing a thing. Slowly, because it's not... It doesn't have the support of this diesel generator anymore, but it is, and it's filling up quickly. So... Uh, yes. I guess, I guess the best thing would be if we replace... Oh! A burst of power, suddenly. Is this... Yeah, this is also working, but slowly. It would be better to just replace all of these with actual, the other pipes. Maybe I should, maybe I should focus on that too. So these pipes, I only have one left, but it's easy enough to make them. I even think I might have the materials to make him. I guess we can do the same thing that we did last time again, just switch everything off and yeah. Replace the entire thing like that. But this one is just one, so we'll just put that in between. And that should be fine, that should put stuff in there. The big part now would be... Uh, ooh. Can you do it? We need it to sort of catch up. That's the problem. Okay, so I guess I will do what I did last time. I'm gonna run around, disconnect everything, and then hopefully that should kickstart the machinery and uh, all should be good. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother about recording all of it this time. I'll be back with you when we have some results. All right, so now I'm taking away these. Uh, that's going to stop the machinery entirely, but I think that's fine. We're going to replace these with the other pipes, and then hopefully, in the meantime, that'll give this squeezer a little chance to build up some stuff here. Yeah, it has 40 here already now, so... The void ore miner is off. All of the stuff up there is off. This thing is off. So I think it should be good. We're going to use up some power for these now. For the conversion recipe, I think, because I don't... Do I have... Uh, I have two refined iron ingots. I'm going to need probably six more then. Because we're going to need to make four plates per recipe and we get four things per... So let's do six more. It should be okay. Ooh, the, the, this press thing is going to need power as well. Hopefully it'll have, have enough, but you never know. Last time I did this, it like halted because it didn't have enough power even though i turned everything else yeah look at that like the power is just going down quickly hopefully eight is not too many okay oh right uh yes when it lost power i just went and did some last time so we actually had a bunch okay well uh, that's good i guess We'll get more pipes as a result. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, these go in the center. These go all around. If I can click properly like that. And then we have 16 fluid pipes all of a sudden. Let's go connect things back up and check how this is doing, I suppose. 
Uh, it has almost nothing still. Yikes! Okay. That is no good. Still, I guess this goes on. Oh. So we only get half as much plant oil from pumpkin seeds as we get from seeds. God dang it. We're producing twice as many seeds though. So I'm wondering if it takes as much power? Does it say? Uh No, it doesn't. I can only assume that it takes as much power to squeeze one seed. Oh, you get you get 120 for hemp seeds. Do I have hemp down here? I think I do. Uh, maybe I don't. Or is it just? Okay, so. Uh, we got ham fiber, coffee seeds, because I couldn't aim properly. Uh, we also got hemp seeds. Hmm. Maybe we'll try putting these in the clocks. This is all a big experiment. <laughs> so, we'll take the clock at the end here again. Take away the pumpkin seeds, put in these. I, uh, it doesn't look like it, did. yeah, oh, it like grew a tiny bit and then, huh, yeah, maybe it just didn't have enough power, oh, so we get hemp fiber and two seeds from that, we get two seeds from that, like the fiber is not bad, we can do a bunch of stuff with that, so. Like we make string out of it, we make the fabric things and whatever, hemp crate. So this isn't all that bad. These are suffering from lack of power too though. Okay. I guess we're switching it all over again then. So we're gonna grab these two seeds. Do I have any more? No, I didn't. Uh you out, put you in. Take you out, put you in. I'm gonna need more though. Okay, good. Take you out, put you in. Okay. Switch everything around again, and now I'm wondering. I'm I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm completely stuck. Uh Alright, let's throw a whole bunch of pumpkin seeds on the ground. Who cares about them anymore? Um <laughs> and then let's Put these back in place. We're just gonna pull these straight out of here again. Uh, ooh, uh, e <laughs> there. Ignore that. These are the hemp seeds. They should go straight in here. Please. Oh yeah, there we go. And the, so once this gets done. We should get more oil from that. And as a side bonus, we're getting a whole bunch of hemp. I guess. Always good. Uh, I need to find a way somewhere to store all this stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, we're, uh, it started raining. <laughs> Picked up all the seeds and put them away. Um, this does seem to be getting longer bursts now, but uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll disconnect this for a second so that we actually start getting some of the oil into here completed and we can do more of it like at once. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like I feel like, it's, yeah, biodiesel 240 millibuckets. I'm feeling like something is using up my power and I don't know what. I don't know what would be. I don't know, I guess maybe we'll steal this again, and hope I don't forget to put it back this time. Um, yeah, Ooh. so we'll go here, uh, fall down, get stuck, 
Let's see now. 480 melee buckets of biodiesel. And I'm that should probably still mostly be because this is slow. So I'm going to connect this straight to here. Yeah, let's start using that up. Cool. And that should mean we start getting way more biodiesel. Yeah. Look at that. So nice. So now we have two buckets of diesel in there. Let's put this back on. Everything should start, like, going... What? Oh, is it... Yeah, it's silently running again. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't get that. Yeah, look. Look. Um, we should be able to take this away, and it should still... Yeah, this is still working. Like, crazy. Using up those seeds. Uh, but these are producing more seeds at a decent rate now. I hope. We probably still need more of them. But yeah, we the, the whole thing works now. Oh look, this is now actually not keeping up. Who? Uh, are we actually? We might be falling behind on ethanol now. But this is making tons and tons of ethanol as well. How? How in the world? No, we are actually gaining plant oil. We're actually slowly lo losing ethanol. So, isn't one fermenter not enough? Can you put something in here to make it quicker? Holy smokes, this... This whole system. Because that... I don't know. There's still plenty of... Well, I was saying there was plenty of potatoes, but look at them go! Holy smokes! Okay, we need we need a better potato income. <laughs> Ugh. It never ends. Okay, but this thing... Okay, well, this thing is gonna... Just about to run out of... <laughs> yep. Okay, so now we're limited on seeds again. How's this looking? Yeah. But it's still kind of going all the time, I think. Yeah, look, the this power is saturated. Um, so I think we'll turn everything on again, and that's a way better situation than before. But, oh boy. We still need a whole ton of more of more of everything I guess we need more more clocks so we can generate more of potatoes and more of the seeds I'm also out of food so I kind of need to stop here for a pit stop and make stuff for my lunchbox all right well I think we'll leave it off there for today ladies and gentlemen we spent even more time trying to get this generator to fully work and maybe it works I don't know I guess we'll find out more next time and uh, see if this monster is finally done. I want to move on to something else, but I can't because I need the power. But, yeah. Come back next time and find out. Thank you for joining me this time. This has been Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Sly Slime, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>